Ladies and gentlemen, I am getting things a little bit sorted out. We are coming on right about now. What is up, guys? Viking Size Gamer here. Also known as James Saxon, also known as many things, but thankfully, uh, after a little bit of an issue, we are back up and running on the stream. So, that was incredibly annoying. I know it was supposed to be here by half past eight, but to be honest with you, YouTube, just just, just put it that way, it is absolutely insane, I don't know why so, and I'm going to shut up my echo, <laughs> stupid echo, right then, Thomas, nice to see you on the chat as well, and Zay, and Frey, Zay, and Trey, there's a lot of people all in one account, unless you have multiple personality disorder, then what up to all three of you in the inside of your head? Oh, of course. Hello, Vicious Prism. It is I. It is I, the Viking. The guy with the great voice, I think, apparently. This is just what I've been told anyway, you know. I can't really say yes or no to that, but, you know. Hey, Red Chris. Uh, okay, so we are going back and heading into uh, my career again. We are on Chapter 7. So we're not doing too bad. We're actually catching up. Um, with a lot of people. I mean, uh, to be fair, I was going through some loot packs yesterday. I wanted to change a couple of things in the moon set. Um, it is one of those things. I didn't really get time to do anything last night or even today, but I did get some new items yesterday. So if you were here last yesterday, you'll have noticed that I did actually get some cool stuff. So um, I know there's a few things. I'm just going to see if there's anything on here that I can use yet. So I've got the. Oh, got a bulldog. Lovely. That's cool. Uh, Moonsault DDT. Very cool if I can hit it. Uh, running versus standing opponent. Don't want to really use the bulldog, to be honest with you. Springboard to Moonsault. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but... What's the other one? Springboard Tornado DDT. That's what I kind of want. Okay, so that's good. Um, da -da -da -da. I could do a couple of things. It's fine. So, right then. Um... Has it got anything for downed opponents? I do. Like, that is just so lame, isn't it? You've got to have a Moonsault, though. Right, okay, let's add that one in, because there isn't going to be too many of these. Uh, I want to see if there was any different special moves that I could have. Because right now I've got a Muscle Buster and a Michinoku Driver. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. But I kind of hoped that there was something a little bit better than that. And that just looks trash. Hey, Ste Steven. 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 Steppen. Steppen. Steven. Um, yeah, I don't... <sighs> yeah, I'm good, though, today, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad at all. Um, I'm just going through. I'm going to assign myself a new finisher on this one because it needs to be done. I don't really fancy anything for the middle rope, so why don't we just go with the loot packs? Not the loot packs. It's all Okay. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? We must have quite a few things, to be fair. Basement drop. I don't really want any of those. No. Bearing ram headbutt. Can we just... Oh! That's... That's a finisher. That is a finisher. Blackout. No. Don't really want that one. Black Widow. No. Blockbuster. I kind of want something... I don't really know. What do I want? Butterfly suplex. Nah, it's just kind of... I quite like the butterfly lung blower, though. If I'm going to be honest with you. I think that's kind of cool. Boom! Only problem is that it doesn't go into a pin. I would have liked it if it went into a pin. Got choke slams, claw holds, claw slams, close line from hell. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Um, for me, it was always for Saxon. It always has been um, a forearm smash, kind of like the. Um, well, it has. It's, it's been settable for for years now. It has always been the. Um, God damn it. The hammer elbow thing from... God damn it. What is wrong with my brain? That is so bad. You know what I'm talking about. From Bad News Barrett. It has always been set to that. Now I've got to look it up. Why? It's because I set it and then I just walk away. I don't even worry about it. Death Valley Driver. That's not a Death Valley Driver. That's kind of like a Death Valley driver. Deadlift powerbomb. No, I don't really fancy any of these. Dice bread. 
I think I've seen this. You've been watching me since 2K18. That's incredible. That is ridiculous. How has somebody been watching me since 2K18? That is crazy. I don't think anybody would be around from that long. To be fair, I'm amazed that I've got to this point myself, so... Boom! See, I quite like that. And it does have a ping combo. It just doesn't... It just doesn't sing with me. It just doesn't sing with me. I kind of wanted something that would come out of nowhere. Florida Keys is kind of cool. It does come with a ping combo. Flip pile driver is just... It is what it is. See, they've got the forearm smashes. But I don't really want that. You know, it doesn't... It doesn't hit it for me. I need the bull hammer. I need to unlock the bull hammer. Do you know what? I'm going to unlock the bull hammer. I can't do it. I can't do it. Get... Get off me. Stop. Oh my god, just give me all of them. What button did I press? Standing front. Right, let's just go for bull hammer. There's got to be a bull hammer here. She okay. Alright then, fine. Um there's gotta be like a forearm smash for one of these that I don't have. I love this though, like some of these right, I think it was in here, figure four leg lock seven. Like some of the things on here. Hey Brian. And thanks, Chris, that is awesome. Right, because this this is something really odd, okay? I'm not sure if anybody else will have noticed this. If you have this game, right? If you have this game and you have unlocked everything, forget my career. If you just go into the mo into create a moveset, somebody please go and check for me if they have figure four leg lock seven. Forget my career, ignore that. Please somebody go and check if they have figure four leg lock seven. Because I have somebody who says that they don't have this in the game, and I got it from a pack, so I don't know if it's supposed to be there. I, I'm... I don't know what's going on. Right, let's take a look. Um, what were we looking for? Forearm smash, so we'll just go straight to the back. Right. Six. Eight. I didn't just want... Don't tell me. Don't say that. If you tell me... Oh, there we go. There's the bull hammer. There's the bull hammer. 4,000... Yeah, sure. I don't really care. I use it all the time. Four arm in a basement haymaker. Oof. He's dead. He did. Every single time, it has to be... It has to be done. Okay, so it's not his signature. So you can do whatever he wants. Omega Driver, that's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's it's got to be that forearm smash. Where is it? Right, okay. Here we go. Forearm smash eight. Boom. That is that is the one. That is the finisher. It's always been the finisher. Have I got any OMGs? I do. I've got an apron power bomb. That's going to be awful. Barrel roll, tope. Suicide dive, suicide dive, forearm smash. My character's all about the, the punching people in the face. Hey, Original Gaming, nice to see you on here. And Wyatt Weaver as well. It's, it's packing up in here. In fact, I didn't even notice that. I was, I was looking at the forearm smash. Let's see, was it was any good? No, it was just kind of a... Meh. Okay. Um, let's, let's just do the open power bomb. Have I got an announce table finisher? No, I don't have that one unlocked. Double finisher? Don't have that one unlocked. Catching finisher? I do have a catching finisher. I could do a choke slam. Do I really want a choke slam? End of days. Doesn't really speak to me. That does. That's mine. I don't have a car finisher. Um... Ladders, tables, stages, barricades. Barricades. Yeah, I just, I just like throwing people into the barricade, if I'm going to be honest with you. That Urinagi into the barricade would be great, though. Mm, 
No. Right, head slam. Okay. Barricade hungry. Yeah, we'll just do that one. And head slam. That's fine. Okay. Do you guys know if Feast Your Eyes, Dominic Djokovic, um, Dijko, Dijkojevic, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, is in 2K20, couldn't find it, although I saw it in a video. Yeah, apparently it is in the game, and it's assigned to Ribby. Don't know why. Don't, I don't even ask me why. Um, what else have we got? I just needed to change a standing grapple as well on here, because there's a few in here that really, really upset me. So, <laughs> just... Float over, snap suplex, absolutely fine. Simone drop, flatliner, I don't... I'm not a fan of the flatliner. Not really a big fan. What have I got? Loot pack store, setable. Armoring a flip, okay, that's kind of basic. I don't really want that. Um, right. Let's see if we can... Bear hug, spine buster, no. Belly to belly. Mm, kind of basic. Oh, bail throw. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, Samoa Drop is nice, but I'm not really that bothered. Scoop Power Slam, no. Scoop Slam. I don't really fan of Scoop Slam, it's just too basic. It's too bit. you're basic. You're basic. That's what it's all about. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. Sickly Gutbusters. See, these are all... These are, you know, it's supposed to be settable. Settable. Now I can see what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, no, 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 uh, butterfly suplex. Do you know what? I think I've got on here, where is it? Yeah, the lung blower. I'm going to take the lung blower. Because I like that lung blower. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave it at that because I kind of just want to get into the game. Um, and yeah, I'm good, thanks, Wyatt Weaver. Thank you. I am good. I am good. But I'm always good. Right, okay, so we're going to jump into chapter 7 now. Um, chapter 7 of my career, it looks like Rhea Ripley's in the front of this, I've got no idea what's going on, but I think we're just about to jump into the Mae Young Classic um, with my other character, so Red, as you will all know her. Um, let's bring this up and let's get started. Just check the message before. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, you got both of us here. I know we haven't spoken in Take a long time, Brooklyn. but Ooh. we saw a flyer at the grocery store that said you're coming to town for a show. We'd really like to come see what you do, Denver, <laughs> and maybe it'd be our chance to put everything oh. that happened behind us. I really want we, we don't want to make a scene or anything, <laughs> so if we don't hear back from you, we won't come. Screw okay? that. I'm going either way, Frank. Honey, we can't do that. Maybe he wants his space. But giving him his space while we thought he was at school nice. is what yeah. got us into the situation to begin with. We <laughs> should have been watching that kid like a hawk. How do I delete the message? Take that, bro. Damn it. Boom. Anyway, if you want to see... Oh, okay, we kind of get the idea. Um... <laughs> no, go away. Hey, bro. Oh, uh, good matchup there I really tonight. rocked her with that Just one. wanted to let you know that I think you and your friend made the right call not signing with Baron. In the long run, it's going to save Take you a lot that. of headaches and money. Oh, speaking oh, of saving nice. money, yeah. I just happen to be selling two <laughs> slightly used jet skis for a price that will knock your Take socks that, off. Brooklyn. Which is perfect because you wear socks when they're on a jet ski. No, I'm not even really bothered about that. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think that the main oh, character is a thing with Josie Jane. I really rocked her with that My one. God, they're making <laughs> such a racket out there. WWE Hotel. Um, yo, dude. How are you doing? I am good, Take thank that. you. How are you? Are you good? Uh, Mr. Nice. Bullman yeah. and well, Dad. We never heard <laughs> back from you about coming to your show, so I think we Take got the message Brooklyn. loud and clear that you don't want us around. Or at, at least I did. I had... <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just get out of here. Rhea Ripley is ready to go. Oh, I really know what to make of this. I mean, just look at that model. She's just dead behind the eyes and very scary. Don't know why. Why does it look that way? See you over there, Pac. It was great catching up. Red, Trey, congrats on the Hall of Fame. Thanks. I told you we shouldn't have stopped to talk to X-Pac. That took forever. It's gonna be fine. And besides, we got a great diet tip out of it with that mustard thing. Red! I'm a huge fan. Can you sign this for me, please? Wow. 
It's been a long time since I've seen this. It was so inspiring to see you come out of nowhere and make that run to the finals. And that last match against Rhea Ripley was amazing. <laughs> Thanks for supporting me for so many years. It really means a lot. Sorry, everyone. We're running late. <laughs> Commencing trip to your destination, WWE Hall of Fame ceremony. Please enjoy For the For someone ride. who's in such a big hurry, you had plenty of time to stop and sign an autograph. She had a May Young Classic program from the year I was in it. I had to reward her loyalty. And we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that match versus Rhea Ripley. No idea. There's a few characters there that were from the previous game, like in the very first scene where he's like, oh, no, I'm not a wrestler. Coming up next is the tournament final of the 2019 May Young Classic. What started months ago with 32 women from around the world now comes down to two. Let's take a closer look at the distinct paths Red and her opponent Rhea Ripley took to get here tonight. like this already and hello Homer this is my third May Young Classic tournament the first year I was just happy to be here last year I made it all the way to the semi-finals but this year will be different this year I win it all there is no other possible outcome you know I almost feel sorry for Red. <laughs> almost. Because tonight, I'm going to annihilate her. Nothing personal, mate. Just more of a wrong place, wrong time sort of thing. A lot of people think I came out of nowhere to make a miracle run to the Mae Young Classic Finals. I hate to ruin a feel-good story, but I'm not the underdog. I've put in the work and paid my dues, traveling up and down the road, defeating anyone who stood in my path. This list drives everything I do. Two years ago, when I was passed up for the first May Young Classic, I wrote on here that I would someday win it. Well, someday is tonight. Rhea Ripley. You can talk about how it's your turn to win, but I've got some unfortunate news for you. I'm taking your turn, and there's nothing you can do about it. Honestly, I need to do these cutscenes for my universe mode. Gotta say it. It's needed. I'm gonna have to go through them. Pull them out. No matter what happens, you've made it further than anyone expected, and you should be really proud of that. I couldn't agree more. Oh, and it's probably not the best time to bring this up, but I found out Rhea Ripley had a custom jacket made that says 2019 May Young Classic winner. Seriously? Yeah. Pretty disrespectful if you ask me, since clearly she sees beating you as a formality. I mean, she must have been really sure of herself to spend money on that. It's not like you can return a custom jacket. And you should see the detail on it. Even had a picture of your face with a black eye. The resemblance was amazing. I'm gonna tear Rhea apart and make my own custom jacket out of her skin! Oh my god. I can't believe Rhea did that. Not a smart move on her part. Oh, she didn't. I just made that all up to motivate Red. Sometimes her anger can be used for good. <sighs> I feel like the male character in this is just so dumb. Just so dumb. And thank you for going for the universe mode. It's going to be good once I get it going. It's um, it's interesting trying to get that arena to sorted, but... This is by far the biggest match of Red's young career. There's so much more than that trophy on the line. Well, she looks determined, to say the least. She could be the most determined person in the world, but that won't make up for the fact she has never been on a stage like this before. Well, this is the third May Young Classic tournament appearance for her opponent, Rhea Ripley. That discrepancy in experience is going to be a huge factor tonight. What? Well. 
Okay. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. There she is, the soon-to-be winner of the May Young Classic Tournament. Corey, earlier you mentioned how you thought Rhea Ripley had the experience edge since this is her third May Young Classic, but isn't it true that, just like Red, this is her first time making it to the finals? So maybe that edge isn't as significant as you think it is. You might have a point there, Byron. I'm gonna tell Rhea you said that. Oh, please don't. This is gonna be interesting. Tyrannus at Imperium. People holding up freaking Triple H signs here. <laughs> Why? He is not involved in this. This is the Mae Young Classic, damn it. All right, let's get this started. After months of Here we go. Two women who outlasted 30 others now have the opportunity to be crowned. Red May Young taking control here. I've said it before, oh, nice. I'll say it again. This is real. Running in Seguri straight to the gut. A third time. I get that. Landing a few big forearm smashes. On the oh, no. And in this tournament, this is going to be a real. Taking control. Oh, nice. Wrist clutch suplex. Perfect. Okay. Whoa. Okay, Rhea. Okay. She is strong. There was no counter for that. Right, time to go to work here. No. Oh. God damn, Spear. Get out of here, Rhea. Oh, just as much of a brawler as Rhea Ripley. Red is oh, not in control anymore. Nope. Here we go. Nice. Okay, taking the wrist down. Stomping on the arm. Nice work there from Red. Bringing her back down. Step up in Zaguri. She's taking some big hits here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Showing some nice. Another, another big right there fast. from Red. Taking the fight straight to Rhea. Changes oh, counter there. there. Oh, and Luthez press. Luthez press. Stop mimicking me, for the love of God, Saxton. Get off me, Rhea. Let's go to town now. Let's go to town. We've got a bit of time. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh! Lovely power bomb there. Alright, let's see if we can get her to waste it. Let's see if we can get Con. Waste that. She steers clear there. That kick will stop you. Okay, so we're back in control now. She's wasted that that reversal. What have we got? Spinning Hurricane Rana. Get up now, Rhea. Get up now, Rhea. I'm pretty sure you'll see Rhea Ripley's photo right there on the page. Oh, DDT onto the ring apron. That is the hardest part of the ring. You will hear that so many times. It's ridiculous. Hey, 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 hey. I'll give you Rhea Ripley certainly has attitude. All right, then. I think we got it now. I think we got this. We'll see if it lasts. Poison Rana. It's a poison runner. Just say what it is. One, two, kick out at two. She is still in it. Okay. Step up in Zaguri again. Okay. Come on. Use one of these. Use one of these reversals. We're just going to do the uh, the Randy Orton thing. I'm just going to stomp every part of your body. Hey, I'm not stop I'm not done stomping. Narrowly avoided. Nice, okay, yeah, you've missed one. Use the other one. Use the other one. Wow, she turned Nice. Around. You use the other one. Ha 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 ha. Uh oh. 
Impaler DDT. Get that cover. Get that cover. County ref. County ref. It's over. One, two, three. Yes. That is exactly how it should be. Respect to Red. And hey, we've heard about this dream list of accomplishments she has. Well, this is certainly going to be a very big one to cross off. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the 2019 May Young Classic, Red! And now we have the presentation of the May Young Classic trophy. That was a named seriously a smiley triple H. Legend in our business. And who knows? Maybe this is the start of another legendary career. Not to get ahead of ourselves or take away from this moment, but you do have to wonder what's next for Red. Oh, we'll have to wait and see, but clearly she's put herself on the map with the decision makers here in WWE. My emotions getting the best of Rhea Ripley. This is not how she envisioned this night ending. Nonetheless, congratulations again to Red. Another thing ticked off the list. Let's move on. Honestly, those eyes, they're just freaky, man. What is going on? A lot of things need to be addressed in this game, but at least 2K have actually released a little bit of info. <laughs> ah, I knew you could do it! Thanks! This is heavier than it looks like on TV. I'll take it. You need a free hand anyway. <sighs> Win May Young Classic Tournament. Done! That trophy? was supposed to go home with me tonight. Yeah? Well, maybe next time don't assume you're gonna beat me. I heard about your custom jacket. What are you talking about? Uh, no need to get into that right now. Whatever. We'll finish this some other time. Congrats again. You were really impressive out there tonight. Thank you so much for the opportunity. So, if I can ask, what's next? We have your info. Maybe we'll contact you for a tryout match sometime. I, I, I appreciate that, but... I just won the May Young Classic. Haven't you seen enough? We don't want to rush into anything. Hunter, come on. He's messing with you. Sorry for trying to have some fun around here. <laughs> Look, the truth is we've seen more than enough, and we think you're amazing. And that's why we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Wow. I'm speechless. Thank you. This is everything I have ever worked for and dreamed of. You've certainly earned it. Um... <laughs> I just have one request. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can make it happen. I'd like you to sign my friend Trey. <laughs> Good one. I guess I deserve that after I messed with you. I'm not joking. What? You need to think very carefully about what you're asking. I already have. You really don't have to do I this. I know I don't have to, but I want to. We're a package deal, remember? So if you really want to sign me, then you're signing him too. And if that doesn't work on your end, then I walk. No hard feelings. I certainly wasn't expecting that kind of ask, but I respect your loyalty. That goes a long way in this business. But that being said, your friend here wasn't really part of our plans, but if you want to vouch for him, then you have a deal. Both of you. Congratulations. <gasps> Are you freaking serious? What was that? You just risked everything for me. Aren't you happy? I am, but... But you stood up to the COO of WWE like you were some kind of big shot. That was insane. I'll admit it was a bit of a Hail Mary, but it worked, didn't it? <laughs> we're best friends. I wasn't going to do this without you. That's the deal we made. Well, thank you. It's the <laughs> nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, and that includes getting adopted. I promise you won't regret it. It was the right thing to do. Now just show them why you belong here. I will. Hey, I just realized we can cross off another list item. Well... Sort of. Compete on NXT. Oh, yeah. We wrote that back when NXT was a reality show. Eh, it's close enough. <laughs> Dude. This is good. This is good. I get more skill points and more attribute points. That's even better. They both get the same. So that's alright then. And hello, Waid. Walid? Walid? What is it, Jess? Yeah, well, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hopefully you're watching this and enjoying it as we work our way through the career mode. Look at Velveteen Dream there. That looks amazing. So that's where that stupid hat's from that I mentioned in the last stream. Whoops. <laughs> I can't 
kind of want that Hall of Fame arena. Okay, Triple H, Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce! Okay, let's take a look. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. Calgary? Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. Ooh, Peyton. Okay, okay. Can I swap the superstar and it does anything? I don't think it will. I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT. Possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. <laughs> oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. Oh man. Let's okay. Let's take a look. So we've got some messages in here. We've got like thirteen new messages. Megan, Jace, Jane, Baron Blade, Blade here. Just wanted to let you know my BCW contract. Oh, I don't care. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Uh, just Jane. Oh my God. Hey. No, I don't even care. So, I heard my sign in our hometown was either hit with a very localized hailstorm, or the more likely scenario, it was vandalized. Yeah, it was, and we don't care. Okay, and what else have we got? Anything Red, good? Red, it's your old pal, Baron Blade. I'm going to skip all the congratulatory... Oh my God, get out of it. Get out of it, Baron Blade. We don't care. Have I got any messages? No, no messages for um, James Saxon. That's sad. That is sad. Why does nobody love him? Why does nobody love him at all? Uh, I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, Look, it's red on the red carpet! <laughs> I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay. Well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind, it's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. And hello, Robbie. Thanks for joining me in the stream, buddy.
Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. Y you never know what could happen, plus it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet! Good luck with your match tonight. Aw, oh, thanks, Troy. <laughs> he almost got your name right. But that's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home. But keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand. But you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. I'd be worried too. I gotta be honest with you. I would not want to be uh, the person that has to deal with that. Does that mean we're playing as red again? That's um, it's another thing that we're gonna be doing. Playing as red again. Facing Rhea Ripley. The following contest is scheduled yep. for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. And still the crowd isn't well, even looking at him. So far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring. Or I don't have the right look. They're all looking over there. The wrong way. Or maybe it's simply doing? because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. <laughs> I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map. The Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. Wait, are, are those oh, handcuffs? that's what the handcuffs are for. Me. Get this idiot out of the ring. That no makes sense now. To be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess.
You gonna give me an answer? So, are you gonna be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. Dream looks good this year. Dream looks really good this year. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. I suppose that's true. If you want the dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the dream in a match later tonight. You nice. got the dream's attention. Well, let's see if you can keep it. Okay. That okay. was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't we care do this. how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Well, let's get back to the previously scheduled match. We could do this. We could do this easy. Oh, and here comes Red. What the heck was all that? Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You what got this. What the hell just happened to her hair? What? That was, that was weird. I don't think I've ever seen hair do that before in real life. It's like a hair was trying to attack him. We apologize him. again for the delay in bringing you this number one contender match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Delay is a much nicer term than I Here would Here we go. Use. Step up in Zaguri. Red in control. That's a valid question. But knowing the so history of each other going back to last year's May Young Classic, go. I think both Red and Rhea will be And let's take this down and working that arm, placing it down on the mat, attacking the elbow, working on the joints there. Red, firmly in control here, but Rhea is this reversing. Is she wants to be, Big kick to the that. midsection. Oh, and a Ooh, chop wait. to the chest. This is uncalled for. Red though, fighting back, caught the leg, sweeping it out from under her, using that momentum, and stomping Rhea Ripley. Oh no, oh no, the miss! Oh, that was uncalled for, this is unexpected. Yep, we're getting that reversal in. And there's the last reversal from Rhea Ripley. Which means that we are now fully in control. This is it. This is us. Snap suplex. Down to the mat. Pick her up again. Pick her up again, Red. Here we go. We're in control of this one. We're in control. DDT with a kip up. Red's enjoying herself. Red is enjoying herself right now. And again, that side suplex. Belly to back suplex. Come on. Spice it up a little bit. Here okay, turn. Back in the ring now. Oh no. Oh no. Not what she was looking for. Step up in Zaguri corner again. Hit the mark with that one. She's Red is relentless now. Almost out of stamina though. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Nice. Up we go again, taking control of this match. Rolling. No, no, that forearming forearm smash was countered, but then a single leg, a single leg drop was taken out as well. Snap suplex. Red in control here. Waiting for that stamina. Here he goes, turns it round. Poison Rana. It's a poison Rana for the love of God. Get the count, ref. Give me a three. One. Kick out. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Former standing strike while Rhea Ripley's in the ring. 
Boom, we're going for it. Big forearms from both women here. Red, Rhea, Rhea big boots. That looks like that rocked Red. Red counters with a super kick. Both women are down. One, two, three. Hold on, both women's shoulders were on the map when the ref counted three. I saw two. Can we get some kind of official ruling on this? Sorry, what? That's not how that works. Red was actually covering her. It doesn't matter that her shoulders were on the so, map. The what are you talking about? Oh, this is a WWE line. You can tell that. So it doesn't matter that Red was on the floor. She was on top of Rhea. What are you doing, Ref? Ref. 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 That was... Come on, this is like the easiest call in the world to make. That should not have... That shouldn't have even been a thing. How is that? What are you talking about? No. No. Saxon out now. I guess he's going to be facing the Velveteen Dream. But Saxon is ready. But Saxon needs his proper hair. I do not like the short hair on him. We'll just skip this. We'll get on to Velveteen Dream because that's where the money is. Here on NXT. It looks so good this year. Honestly, he looks so good. And his opponent from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, Velveteen Dream. A megastar destined for the stratosphere in sports entertainment. And known for his combination of ruthlessness and unbridled flamboyancy anything you can do the velveteen dream can do better hit it do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. hey zenislayer welcome to the stream my friend we're out here playing my career mode, and right now it's James Saxon taking on the Velveteen Dream. I really love this mode. Honest to God, this mode is, is the best mode in this game. It's also the least broken. So, what can I say about this mode? Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream just soaking in. Okay, yeah, you're soaking in maybe too much. Let's just get on with it, shall we? The shadow burn into this. Into the the what is that? Alright, go with Team Dream to Red Health. Get up, Dream. DDT. Luckily, Velveteen had a key or that idiot would probably still be Don't stuck get up when I'm about to do that. Kick to the back of the spine. Saxon in control right now. Let's get some forearm smashes in here. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Leaping forearm smash. Let's get to that middle rope. Leaping Phoenix splash. Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, let's get this done. Another DDT. We are working over the Velveteen Dream. Get up now, boy. Let's take this belly to back suplex. Now he's been put on the defensive. Oh no, reversal there from Velveteen Dream. Saxon though. Gets him with a counter. Whoa, spinning heel kick. He's executing on his plan perfectly. Taking care of this. We're taking care of this. Vertical suplex back into the ring. Velveteen Dream. Bam, suplex. Oh, yeah, nice splash. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. I agree with Byron's statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, right. why Come on, else Dream. wear all Come the on, Dream. shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing okay. matters you're going to let me in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen no, Dream you're not going to let me do it. Fine. Fine. Bail throw. Let's throw you again. You deserve this. Wicked body shot. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Okay, let's get it with the signature. Let's get this muscle buster in, boys. Muscle buster. Muscle buster. Is he red health? Yep, okay. Perform a standing strike. Here we go, then. Oh, yeah, kick to the midsection. Oh, no. Setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it's counted. It twice. Oh. Velveteen Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll find a partner next year, pal. It's not looking good for Saxon right now. Dream. Is he going to go to the top? Look at that. And now he's going to the top. He is going to the top for that elbow drop. Of competing in the Dusty Classic. Do it, Dream. Purple Rain. Oh. Thankfully, this is all over. Come on, cover him. What's the hold up? Wait, what's Velveteen doing? No, no. He's telling the referee to count. Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. All right then. What the heck is he thinking? Why would you do this? Maybe Velveteen wanted to be Trey's partner after all. I'm guessing he wants to compete in the May Young Classic, in the May Young, in the Dusty Rhodes Classic. I believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confusing actions aside, you're looking at the newest team to enter the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. This is looking good. I like it. Oh, and Zeno, yes, um, there are problems with the custom arenas. Probably Universe mode, I've asked you, I haven't really jumped into Universe mode itself. Um, I've been trying to do arenas and the arenas for Universe mode because I get really annoyed with it. I was trying to make the, the new Raw arena, but the uh, Titan Tron itself, when I put it on the arena floor or even on the ramp itself, and it's just like I put it there, when you load it up and have an entrance, it's 15 feet above where I placed it. So more annoying things for me rather than actual crashes or anything like that which is fair enough to say I mean everybody's gonna have different things with this game it doesn't seem to be consistent in any way it's not that you can break it for definite one way or another apart from obviously things in the creation suite where you definitely can break it in certain ways but this is oof. okay we got red heavy machinery and velveteen dream let's talk to red hey I ran into Triple H earlier and assured him your stunt last week was just a one-time thing. Did she just walk through the table? You're lucky he thought it was good TV, or you might be out of a job. Triple H thought I was entertaining? That's great! That's not exactly what I would have gotten out of that statement. Nonetheless, I'm happy you found someone to team with for the Dusty Classic, even if it's Velveteen Dream. What do you mean, even if? I just don't think he's the most trustworthy partner. But hopefully I'm wrong. He's too set on proving he's the real dream to pull anything on me. So don't worry, I'll be fine. But what about your big contract signing tonight? You have anything planned? Yeah. I'm gonna go out there and sign the contract. That's it? These things are all about playing mind games with your opponent to get an advantage in the match. Like, what if you brought your Mae Young Classic trophy to the ring with you? That would really get in Rhea's head. I'm not going to bring it. I just want to be straight up. I just want to be straight up. I appreciate up. the advice, but stunts like that are more your style. I'm going to keep it professional. And predictable. But whatever. So what did Triple H say about last week being good TV? Did he like my promo or the handcuff move or just everything overall? You should focus on your match. Yeah, just, just focus on the match, man. Just don't. Just don't. Velveteen Dream. I got a message. Who have I got a message from? Ricochet. Good match against Velveteen Dream last week, Troy. For God's sake. 
<laughs> the love of God. I let you win last week because the dream thought about what you said. And I want to prove that I am the real dream. That's all this is. You're just lucky to be along for the ride. Okay, fine. But now that we're partners, shouldn't we discuss strategy or something? Here's a strategy. Stay out of the dream's way. That's not a strategy. At all. Like, at all. I heard what you said last week about wanting to prove you belong in NXT. I respect that. But it's not going to come at our expense. No, sir. Not our expense, Tucky. <laughs> we came back to NXT for one reason. To win the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Back to win the whole enchilada! I actually watched your previous Dusty Classic matches to try to get an advantage, but there wasn't a lot to go on. You know, because you always lost in the first round. Oof. You went there, huh? He did go there. Sounds like he wants to fight. I'm just stating a fact. Then here's another one. Tonight, we're gonna destroy you. That's right, Ducky. Cause we're coming! Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's, um... Let's assign the my player tree stuff. I need to get a couple of things in here, so... Uh, what are we going for? What are we going for? Grapple speed is always good. Uh, grapple reversal is good. Agility. And aerial reversal is not a big deal. What's that one? Apron DDT. Uh, what's this one? Avalanche poison runner, which would be which would be cool. It would be cool. Uh, arm power. Yeah, hundred percent. Arm power. Definitely needed, necessary, should be used. What's this one? Through the table. Uh, that's kind of cool. Instant recovery. Let's spend one on that one. Don't need that on the ropes. Um, escape artist would be cool. I really want the skull crushing big boot at some point. And hey, Lions Games. How you doing, buddy? Hopefully you're good, fella. Right, let's get back to this. I've got a couple of things that I wanted, and that was pretty much all I needed, to be fair. So, let's get back into this. Let's go ahead and compete in the Dusty Roads Classic. This should be a good one. It should be a good one. It should be a good one. We'll see. This is it, fellas. We're ready to get this thing started. No entrance. Oh my god. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, what are you doing? Make sure Trey wins the match by pin. Okay. Up we get. Nice clothesline. Off the ropes. Oh! Big, big sent on. There we go. This is exactly what you wanted. Rolling for. No. Nope. Nope. Again, Don't think so. Ducky. Here we go. Work the leg. Stop nice. The leg oh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. That will tear a hamstring. And that will be painful. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Sure oh my god. He didn't do anything. He didn't do... No! Stop it. Oh god. Now it's Otis. He's like a bowling ball. He's like a human bowling ball. Oh god. No. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh god, no. He's killing him. He's just choked him to death. Was that really necessary? Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Otis, get off me. Oh, nice. Okay. Single leg drop kick does work. I just think you're going, matey. Oh, I've got their outside dives. Oh, for the love of God. He evades the attack. Are you kidding me right now? No! <laughs> Pale throw. 
This is not working out for me right now. Get up. Get up. Nice. Flying heel kick. Flying spinning heel kick. Alright, let's try and... Enziguri. Here we go. What are we doing here? Nice. European uppercut to the back of the head. We are working now. Okay. Let's get some stuff done in here then. Russian leg sweep. Where do you think you're going? Tucky. Tucky. Get here, Tucky. Oh, are we doing it? We're doing it. Flip power bomb to the outside. That is going to be painful. That is going to be painful as all hell. Otis, don't get involved. Tucky, you just took a flip power bomb to the outside. Stop doing this. Hot tag. What are you doing? What just happened? Shoes or hand grenades, it means nothing. And he are you going to get up? Oh, yeah, did he, did he tag him? He didn't tag him. After all that, he didn't tag him. What was that about? What just happened? Russian leg sweep again. Right, okay, let's go to the top rope. Let's go to the top rope. What have we got? What have we got? Is it a moonsault? Moonsault! Go for that pink combo. One, two, oh, kicked out, kicked out. But we do have that signature Michinoku driver straight down. Okay, okay. Get down, Otis. It's vital that we hit. Oh, there it is. Shatter shock elbow. One, two, three. Shatter shot elbow takes out Tucky. I would not imagine that I would team dream high fiving anyone. Not at all. Not at all. That's not a thing. Boom, 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 I don't know, Knight. That was a really weird hot tag. It didn't even work. I don't know why it didn't work. You all have history with one another, but at NXT TakeOver, more history will be made when you'll compete in a triple threat match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Sorry, what? Now, if you could each sign your names on the contract, we can make this match official. You mentioned the history we have, but none of that really matters now. I'm only looking ahead to take over, where I can cross another thing off my list when I walk out victorious as NXT Women's Champion. I don't make stupid lists or empty promises. I win title matches, which is what I'll continue to do at TakeOver. That's it? We're not going to talk about the fact that this shouldn't even be a triple threat match after I won the number one contender match last week. You didn't win that match. So how about you accept reality for once and stop complaining, might? Unless you're just stalling because you're not even capable of writing your own name. Fine. If you two are in such a hurry. Everybody's signing. That was a long signature. Don't forget to dot your eye. She's still going. <laughs> My name doesn't have an eye. And now your face won't either. And thanks to Rhea Ripley, this contract signing has officially gone off the rails. No wonder they ever stay <laughs> on the rails. Oh. Rhea Ripley's going on a rampage. And it appears Rhea might have injured Red's eye. Oh, this is not good. This is mine. Look, we hope Red's okay, but 
Rhea Ripley made a statement tonight. She will destroy anything in her path to capture the NXT Women's Championship. Oh, damn. Red, Red, you okay? Hey. Uh, oh, my eye. Okay. That was a cool ass cutscene. That was awesome. I love the cutscenes in this in this my career mode. Seriously, I do need this for my universe mode. I need these cutscenes. I need them so bad. Okay, I guess I'm coming out. What am I coming out for? I'm guessing I've got a match. Who have I got a match against? Is it Dusty Rose Classic again? Here on NXT. Yeah, okay. Tag team partner is Velveteen Dream. Who are we facing? Street Profits. I think their entrance has changed much from last year, if at all. The Street Profits! Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. Hmm. Let's just get on with it now. As this Dusty Rhodes tag team classic so we're ready to get Montez to get Red I'll Health. Whether Trey can stay focused okay, that's after fine. What happened last do that. week to his best friend Red at the hands of Rhea Ripley. Yep. Come on then, be a throw. Let's see if we do it again. Do it again. Not certain whether she'll be clear oh, for okay. NXT. Okay, we'll just throw him out and said. Why do I do that? From Trey, I don't think his brain's capable of focusing on multiple things at once. Here we go. Right, straight up and straight down. Vertical suplex back into the center of the ring. I fully expect the street profits to advance. Off we go. Firmly in control. Montez Ford. Oh no, reversal here. You just got a lot of pride on the line here in this tag team. Stop encounter. doing that. Only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. Oh, oh the rolling forearm smash. There we go. When's the first episode of Universe Mode? That's going to be coming up there soon. Is. We're doing a few things to get oh, this sorted to make it sure it's it's actually going to be good. Um, I'm working on graphics as well. So there's, there's a lot of things to, to actually go through. You know, for That's a new animation. That, that role. Long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. Oh, working over the back. I will drop some graphics on Twitter later uh -oh. that I've been working on. So. Uh oh. Neck breaker. That was not required. In off the tag. Angelo Dawkins now in. To Michael's point about Velveteen Dream's disdain okay. for the locker room. Okay, it's I don't no need Angelo Dawkins going at me. He, the most he is much bigger. Get off me, mate. On the independent scene. Big clothesline. Hook them up. Right, okay. Belly to back suplex. Angle, belly to back suplex. You want to call that high angle one? You can call it whatever you want. It was still a belly to back suplex. Get up, bail throw, tag your mate in, mate. Tag your mate in, tag your mate in. Tag him in, Angelo. Tag him in, Angelo. Tag him in, Angelo. I'm not even kidding. Tag him in. Tag your mate in. Tag yourself in. Definitely not. Tag him in. in a tag team contest, tag him in. Superstar and partner lock up against another oh, duo. Christ. Unless there's a special stipulation Stop that it. the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, count out. Yeah, that's right. You tag him in. Hoping you tag him tag in. Here. It sounds like there Get are in the ring. People here tonight hoping for the what just happened? Thing. He's so close to making the tag here, Corey. Here we go. Think of all the oh, no. Here, no counters. So what are you doing? Oh, is that really necessary? Okay, come on now. One, two, I can't, I can't count with this. He's going to get the whole ten. Oh, man. 
That was awful. I don't think anybody's ever got to 10 on TV in years. Oh, man. This is not it. One. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell Get you off me. Too early. Whoa, not so fast. And Excuse me. Reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Whoa, it's another right, reversal. Ford. Get up. We are not playing around now. We are not playing around. You get, airline miles for that. you get up. You get up. We are not doing this anymore. Oh, for Christ's sake. Montez Ford turned the tables. Yet another counter. Get in the corner. Somehow one step ahead of each other. Right. Let's get it. 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 Muscle Buster for the signature. Boom! Montez Ford is nearly at red health. Simply said, this is going to be a big knee match. drop to the face there. Here we go. Right, okay. And look at the Get in the corner. This tag team what are we going to do? I'm just going to wipe his face? Yeah, what a face wiping him. Oh, here it comes. Oh! With all team dreams, the legal man in the ring form standing up against Montez Ford. Okay. Almost there. So close, so close. Keep going. Come on. Here we go. This is the Dream Valley Driver. Yes, it is. Did Trey just tag himself in? You just tag yourself in? Are you kidding me right now? No. Trey with his oh. Rainmaker. One, two, three. And it's all over. Trey and Velveteen advance to the finals of the Dusty Classic. Look at this clown celebrating like he accomplished something. He stole the win from Velveteen Dream. All that matters he is that he did 99% of that match. Dancing. And look, Velveteen approves. Yeah, well, I don't. What? 99% of that match for Saxon. Don't even. Hmm, am I using my superstar QR codes? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll be doing a giveaway for them at some point for Supercard. Who knows? Maybe you should keep tuning into the channel because something might happen with that. Maybe. Welcome to NXT TakeOver, where we Ooh. have huge breaking news. Red has officially been cleared to compete for the NXT Women's Championship nice. against Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley, who brutally attacked Red just a few weeks ago. In addition to that enormous match, we also have the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, where Trey and Velveteen Dream will take on the Viking Raiders. Well, nice. Byron, in all your excitement, you forgot to mention that since the Women's Championship match is back to a triple threat, that also means it'll be no disqualification which if you ask me only means trouble for Candace and Rick. It does mean trouble. But it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. All of those weapons. I cannot wait. Hey. I heard the good news you were cleared. But uh you sure you're okay? I'm only sure of one thing. I'm going to annihilate Rhea Ripley. She almost took everything from me, but her mistake was she stopped at almost. Tonight, I won't stop. At least your match is no DQ. That way you can take care of Rhea and still win the title, so that's good. Ooh. I'd say it's very good. She's going full metal gear on her. Hey, Iconic. Oh. How you doing, buddy? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. The dream's reflection is beautiful. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> well, that trophy could be ours, but I was thinking we still don't feel like a real team. And a big part of that is because we don't have matching outfits like all the great tag teams throughout history. So I went and had these made. I hope you like them. <laughs> I love them. Nice. There we go. That was a super quiet arena just then. Oh man. I hate that entrance. I keep meaning to change the it. The contest is a triple threat match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger, Evelyn. It's a big-time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. Here right, we Micah, go. And judging from the response on social media, heading... Let's get this done. Let's get this done. All right. Rhea Ripley making her way to the ring now. One of the toughest women around, Rhea Ripley. She is all potential in the world and introducing the challenger from Adelaide Australia Rhea Ripley I planned to speak with Rhea Ripley earlier today but as soon as now let me guess she ignored you well she saw me heading her direction and she gave me a glare that forced me to turn in the other direction as if I weren't already a Rhea Ripley fan that would have totally solidified it. Rhea Ripley of course one of the most intimidating women on the roster and not just because she made Byron afraid to do his job I had the opportunity to call her matches during the second Mae Young Classic and the pleasure she took in dominating her opponents was truly unsettling well, oh it's gonna be what? so good this, this. Isn't for the let's get on with it I want to see this uh, entrance from Candice LeRae for that NXT Championship. It's Candice Wrestling! And introducing the champion from Anaheim, California, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Candice LeRae! I have finally figured it out. I have figured out what the WWE that clipping is awful. sees in Candice LeRae. They all feel bad for her. What are you talking about? Why are her abs poking out the top of the NXT Championship? That's upsetting. She is married to that nerd, Johnny oh, Wrestling. Wait, just stop, Corey. It's a global pity party. That is upsetting. For the NXT Women's Championship. This is where it all happens. It's all about the NXT Women's Championship. Everyone who has held that title has gone on to create massive waves in sports entertainment. There are no eyes to the future right now, Cole. These ladies have only one thing in mind, and that's being the next NXT Women's Get Champion. Get out of the ring. These three women have crossed paths before, but Let's never get something so fun. much on the line. Ooh, yeah, chairs or Kendo Sticks. Kendo Sticks. On the, map. the May Young Classic can kickstart a career, but becoming do, do, NXT do, 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 Just walking around. Why is her walk so weird? I mean, I what is that walk? It's like she's waddling. The real story is whether that is odd. That is an odd walk. Get in the ring. I would never say that, Corey. Sit fact, down, Candice. Right on your Achilles tendon. We aren't taking any time. prisoners here. Hey, I didn't say I was finished with that. There you sit is. down as well. You hear that crack? And you. That. Hey, you. And you. Gonna stop her now. No, that sure wasn't Candice, was it? Keep it up, but she is up. fired up right now. Oh, what impact. Oh, that's <laughs> the impact. That's, that's not the correct targeting. Stop doing that. Oh, what impact. Oh, my God. Just, when I tell you to aim at someone, turn to face that person. There was a lot of force behind that one. 
She's really oh my god. On that object a lot now. And I can't say that I blame her. Get up. You reversed it after all those kendo stick shots. Sit your face down. You obviously need more. Sit down, Rhea. For the love of God. Harsh impact. impact. Right, you can have the poison runner then. When I get my stamina back. Or I won't. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Oh, what a four. What the f this here? Oh, Are you kidding me right now? She drops her with a fierce takedown. Okay. Okay. Get up now. Oh, head kick connects. Okay, this is come on. Kick to the midsection. Give me this damn kendo stick. Sit down, Candice. Changes her fortune there. Oh no! Where did that kendo stick just go? Uh, excuse me. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll just wait it out then. Fine. They are both way more damaged than me anyway, so it's absolutely fine. It's not even an issue. In fact, let's just do an early recovery. We'll take that, and then we'll just do a pose. Yay! Strategy. Up in a vertical suplex. Okay, you guys do that. I'm just, I'm just gonna grab this and hit you both. You losers. You getting in? You get in. Kendo stick for you. A kendo stick for you. Everybody gets a kendo stick. You're all getting kendo sticks. Right, do you fancy a poison runner now? You do, you do fancy a poison runner. Poison runner. Say what it is. Get off me. It's starting to come together in a big way. Step up Enziguri. Explode when they have the chance. Get out of the ring. It's time for Candice to lose this championship. Impaler DDT. Get the cover. Count it, ref. One, two, three. Red's done it. She's overcome what could have been a career ending injury to become the new NXT Women's Champion. We just witnessed one of the gutsiest performances in NXT history. It is mine. Rhea, you ain't even involved. I pinned the champion. You weren't worth the pin. There's a handshake. Well, I'll be the first to admit I was wrong about Red. This was no fluke tonight. She earned every ounce of the gold she now holds in her hands. And there you see Red crossing this achievement. Nice one there, Knight. One of many significant things she may go on to cross off in her career. A truly inspiring moment. It was a truly inspiring moment. It was achieved by beating the crap out of somebody with a kendo stick. In fact, two people. Why do you have an eye patch? Because she hurt her eye, man. It wasn't, it wasn't an aesthetic thing. She definitely didn't want one. Well, Reagan. Regan? Regan? Reagan? That's because somebody won a competition. That's where that name came from. Oh, yeah. For the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen <laughs> Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as your team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two aren't on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders. What is but this? What's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, 
Corey. Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, <laughs> but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Oh, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're going to put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. This is brilliant. Unbelievable. Yeah, it should be a it should be a thing in universe mode. 100 percent And welcome to the stream, Elite Too Sick. I'm just, yeah, 100 percent That should definitely be a entrance. As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final match gets underway, both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. 2015 included a star-studded field that Ooh. was won by the team of oh. Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Oh, teams have their vicious clothesline there from Eric. The authors of pain in the undisputed era. We're going sorry, for it. We're going for it. Nice vertical dream. suplex. Carried him straight over, lovely. However, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. Not looking good right now. Oh no, missed it. And another reversal. Seems like we're back oh yeah, again, Michael. getting out of this. He's one step ahead Here there. he comes. Nice, on nice little clothesline there from Saxon. Oh, it's a Guri. We're going to get Eric to red health really quick. Rolling forearm smash. Saxon is fully on board for this. Didn't even, didn't even do a thing. Here we go. Okay. Fisherman. Oh, no. Nice. Like a fisherman driver. Fisherman package driver. Oh, sliced bread. Beautiful. Stomping down. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. I'm telling you. Use the damn reversal, Eric. Use the damn reversal. What is wrong with you? Eludes the attack. Right. Use the damn rever Use your other reversal. Use your other reversal, Eric. Use your other reversal, Eric. Use your other reversal, Eric. Why don't you use your other reversal, Eric? Eric. 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 Knee drop. Jeez. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Why is Eric at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's gotta be some. Eric. Use your other reversal. Comes in off the Alright, you, you get in then. See if you can do something with him. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brother. <laughs> Didn't want to do anything with me. Dream Valley Driver. Dream Valley Driver. And Velveteen Dream what? Trey. It actually looks like he wants Trey to go to the top rope and hit the purple Rainmaker. I told you they're on the same page now. What the hell? Dream, no! Velveteen Dream has come to his senses. What are you doing? Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. Dream, no! You no! No! He has no chance. It's over. Ah! Oh. Why are you doing that? Kick out! Kick out! Oh! It's
Why? Why? The better team won just like I thought they would. Maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. Why? Give me an explanation, Dream. Give me an explanation. This is on you, partner. You called the Dream out and you questioned the Dream's authenticity. But the Dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The Dream already knew that there was only one Dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the Dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success. But then, you repeatedly stole the Dream's spotlight, leeching off the Dream's moves, the Dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of battery. <sighs> Come on, man. Uh, are those handcuffs? What are you doing? No. No. Come on, man. This isn't necessary. Nice handcuffed and traded the ropes, just like how this all started. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Well, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. Pull him off me. For the love of God, it's not necessary. Have some composure, Dream. Unbelievable. I expected better. This is my brutality. Unbelievable. Cannot believe Velveteen Dream turned on us in the end. Disgusting display. I felt better of Velveteen Dream. Didn't need the championship, but still it was just sent upon your resume. Uh, pardon me, Red, Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it. Nice. Okay, I think that um, I want to, say for instance, change Red's entrance because my god. Yeah, we'll just go for the easy creation. I don't want to mess around the advanced creation because it's probably just crash the game. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want it to crash the please do not crash the game. Just just be easy. Just be nice to me. Don't don't do whatever I think you're going to do. Well, you loaded up fine, so that's good then. Alright then, so let's uh take a look. Uh let's just not international sensation. Uh, let's take a look. There's got to be some uh, custom superstars. Nope, we haven't got any of those. So let's take a look. Must be some like normal ones in here. One and only. There's two one and onlys. Didn't realise that. Um, right. Okay. So. See, there's a few of them in here. The Phenom of Cameron, North Carolina. Where is the... Who's that? Whose entrance is that? Oh, she looks like she is ready to... Take everybody out. She, yeah, she looks like... <laughs> what is happening right now? Okay, uh... Let's take a look. Big Evil with Bike. Are you kidding me? Should I just give her this one? 
that's just going to be sick. Please tell me that she's fully on the bike and it doesn't go absolutely crazy. It does work. Oh my god. Yep. Yep, she's having that. I don't, I don't even care. I don't even care. Please tell me that we can have it with, with this one as well. Yeah, Undertaker with a big evil bike. And that that entrance music is just trash. But we'll just keep it for now. I don't even care. I don't even, I don't even care. I don't even care. That is, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh, this is going to be stupid. But perfect. In every way. Okay. Uh, don't need that. So now we will go to... Is there a player tree? Is there a the player tree for her? I'm sure there is. I'm sure we can unlock... Yeah, she's got 12. She's got 12. Okay. So what have we got then? If we... Uh, add the strength on there. She hasn't got any... Sp she got any spring ball? I don't think she does. Uh, we'll get some head durability and some arm power. Running offense. Stamina. 100% stamina because damn. Um, arm, running offense. What's this one? Auto reversal. Running offense. Yeah, movement speed is always good. Agility. Uh, stamina recovery. Uh, strike speed, yes, because I do like my strikes. Oh, yeah, we've got another reversal on there. Ah, I've got no points available. God damn it. Okay. Um, expose the turnbuckle. No, she's not like that. Is that top rope diver? Yes, please. We'll have some of that. Um, what else have we got we can use? Pink combo. Yep, 100%. Um, come back. Yep, comebacks are always good. What's that one? Nosebleed Daredevil? Yeah, we'll just take it. We'll just open it up. It's fine. Uh, fan favorite. Yep, sure. That's fine. Low blows. She's not like that. She's not like that, Red. She's kind of straight. Just a straight shooter. So, totally makes sense to me. Let's move out of this. We've got a couple of things we've got to prepare for. If we're going to be big evil, you know, if we're going to be the big evil with a bike, then maybe she needs a little bit of a of a costume change as well. Maybe she needs a, a different, different look to her. Different look. I think the purple's not really working anymore if she's going to be the big evil. So um, let's hover it over to the appearance for Red, who is now going to be, yeah, I'm just, just screw it, I'm just going to be putting her in black. She'll be fine. Let's edit this. Let's get the clothing going. Let's get the upper body going. What have we got that we can actually do? Um, settable. Lovely. Okay. So, settable, 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 settable. What have you got? Have you got this? Uh, looks a bit too sparkly for me. All of these random things. I kind of just want something that's normal. I don't know. We can, we can give us these things, I suppose. But I just think it's not really a bad thing. Hey, crazy ghost. How you doing? Hopefully you're good. Um, that is super sparkly, isn't it? Do you know what? Let's just give her that. Yeah, let's change the color. Let's change all the color to black. She is black. Black as the night. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. Is she going to be black and gold? She could be black and gold, actually. I like that look. But there is that. Should we, should we make that, like, maybe silver or something? Yeah, we'll make it like a silverish sort of colour. That'll do. Okay, yeah, we'll accept that. That's fine. Lower body. Um, I suppose we could just change some of these. Settable. What should we do it to? Should we do it to this one? That looks that looks ridiculous on her. <laughs> uh, some of these are absolute trash. Uh, right, okay. So, I guess... We will. I think we'll give her the matching ones, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just give her the matching ones. It's fine. First color, black. Except second color. Uh, what like gold? I like goldish. Could we just give her that goldish kind of thing. Goldish kind of look. I suppose that's close, isn't it? And then the same thing for that one. Cool. All right then. Last thing is elbows and knee pads. They look awful. Okay. But we'll just give them to her. It's fine. Color. 
Um, we'll just stick with black, black and black. Black and black. How should we give it the gold? I like the gold. Second color. Give it the black. She is big, evil gold. Okay, uh, let's copy and do. Okay, fine. We'll, it doesn't work that way. You can't just edit them one at a time. That is trash. <laughs> no! Oh, Christ. Uh, second color. Switch to black. Wait, did it? Why did it switch it back? That's annoying. First color, gold. Second color, black. Stop changing them all to gold, you absolute ruiners. Uh, how am I? I am good, Crazy Ghost. Hopefully you are good, mate. Um, do I like the 2K20, Johnny Evans? Yeah, actually, I do. It's not bad at all. Well, to be fair, I've only played the career mode, and it's working absolutely fine for me, so I have literally no issues whatsoever with it. I am absolutely fine with it. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that. Oh no, she needs she needs her arms doing. We can't be having Is this the left arm? Left arm. Edit. Keep it. Colour first. Gold. Second colour. Blank. Oh yeah. She is ready. She is ready to fight. I like it. It's good. Go that there and kick some ass, Red. But you are gold. Black and gold. Black and gold, Red. What? It's like a Power Ranger. Black and gold, Red. Okay. Let's get this going. What do I think about the changes in it? I think a lot of the changes are trash, but... You know, hopefully the patch will fix it up because it needs to be fixed up. Okay, we got messages. Uh, who we got from? Uh, Brooklyn? Hey, I'll make this quick because I don't know how many minutes you have left on your track phone, but I just wanted to tell you in case you somehow missed all the coverage, I won my fight last night! 10 and 0 now, and my career is really taking off. I'm starting to get talk show appearances, commercial offers, I even got an album deal in Brazil. Here's a preview oh, of my. Oh, get out of my face. She got me in since she didn't want to continue match last week. I had no winner, you're going to face Rhea. Oh, okay, I missed that one. Candice, uh, Riley Time Flash. Time to update my school's website again. I'm thinking something like Riley Flash. I like it very nice. The boots are edgy. Oh, the boots are ugly. Uh, well, I don't care. They look fine to me. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured. But I won't make that mistake tonight. I'm just going to beat the crap out of you again, Candace. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with a title. Backward. Shut up. Okay, can we swap? Can we swap? Oh, I actually have messages. That's interesting. Oh, it's Cassius. I've been on you since you got to NXT, but you've shown you might have what it takes to make it here. Prove it tonight by beating Velveteen Dream. Uh, can't believe Velveteen Dream turned on you. Show him you deserve the spotlight trait. By the way, might have gotten your name wrong a few times. My bad. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Just Jane, I'm going to be in Orlando next week. Maybe we can finally have that dinner. Seriously, there is a thing between Trey and Josie Jane. Don't know why. Don't know why at all. Oh, I need to change the player tree for, um, for Saxon as well. If he's got some... He's got no attribute points. That is trash. I wanted the attribute points. Why does he not have any attribute points? Okay, let's just take that one then. Fine. Uh, what else have we got? We got anything else? Uh, come back. Yep, that'll be good. That's a nice one to have. Uh, what's this? Oh, poison mist, of course, because I am an awful human being. Uh, coast to coast. Pin combo. Oh no, it's a leverage pin. Would like a leverage pin. Hey, uh, Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? Hopefully you're good, man. Right. I 
think we're nearly ready. I think Saxon needs a little bit of a change up though. He needs a, maybe a different hairstyle because I'm getting sick of the way these characters look, man. They just they just don't look great. I mean, even Saxon looks freaking terrible, man. I can't I can't deal with this attire. I can't deal with this. Give me my attire. Give me my hair. Give me the real hair that I use. Give me the real hair. I don't care what I have to spend on it. Come on, all the way at the top. It's just it's got to be here. Where is it? 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 It's the hair that everyone uses, but maybe I'll change to something. Okay, maybe not that one. Maybe I'll change to something else though. It's the hair that everyone. Oh god, I've gone too far. Where is it? It's this one. What's that one? Okay, that's definitely not it. Okay, so no, it's not that one. I suppose we could use the fin hair, couldn't we? I can't like the fit hair on him. I think it looks good. The fin hair looks good on him. But the hair that everybody uses... Where is it? I swear it was down on that side. It's the Fandango hair. Fandango. Where is it? Am I being blind? They haven't taken it out, surely. That was like the most popular hair. That can't be, that can't have gone. There it is. That's the one. Yep, I'm taking it, it's mine. Hair shave designs, okay. I don't think we need any of that stuff. Upper body, no, we don't need that. Lower body, the lower body is where it, what the hell? Did it? Clothing, lower body, right, there we go. See, I don't like that. Uh, settable. I've got a few settable things, but generally, not really much. We could change it up to some shorts, I suppose. What are these ones? Uh, Colour. Maybe we should go for the, uh, for the gold as well. Gold and black. Seeing as they are supposed to be, like... A thing, aren't they? Well, not really a thing, are they? But you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. What are you... I was going to say, I didn't change anything there. What are you talking about? Okay, there we go. Right, change that to gold and black as well. Actually, that's already black, so that's fine. And we'll just leave that as it is. And edit that. We'll do the same thing again. See, look, that is really odd. It's there. I select to go edit them, and it says they're locked. What are you talking about? I'm wearing them. That doesn't even make any sense. I just guess I'll pick these ones then. What is that? It doesn't even make any sense, my man. What are you talking about? Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the boots. It's the boots are normal. Why aren't the boots? Ugh. Right, okay. Okay, and we'll change these ones to gold. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like the. I mean, he looks trash. I you need to. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, let's. Um, we don't want him changing too drastically <laughs> between the entrance and him getting in the ring. That would just look awful. Okay. It is not. I don't. I. I we really, really, really. Need the image uploader on working because I cannot deal with this looking like it does. It needs to be fixed, 2K. This image uploader is crucial to the lifeblood of the community. Seriously, image uploader, if that's not working, you are going to see this community like die off super quick because you can't upload any new superstars. You can't have people creating people from New Japan or ROH or AEW. It just it needs to be fixed. It needs to be fixed. 100%. He's got messages. What are the messages again? I just read these. Get off. What are you talking about? Okay. Um, yep, so that's done. Let's go talk. Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. 
Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Oh, okay. Uh, purple American Dream with polka dots. Tough enough attire. And dream over boxing shorts. If I've got to get in his head, uh, let's take a look. What am I doing? What, which one? Uh, Purple American Dream polka dots. Tough enough attire. I mean, he didn't make. Did he? He didn't win the tough enough. The Dream Over Boxing Shorts, are they boxing as in actual boxing shorts? Or are they boxer shorts as in he's wearing just boxer shorts? Purple American Dream polka dots does actually kind of make sense because, you know, the American Dream and the Dream kind of thing. But, I mean, if I'm going to mock somebody, yeah, I Dream Over is kind of... I kind of like that idea, but I kind of want to get into it. If I'm going to get into his head, I'm going to bring up his alter ego, his tough enough attire. To say, oh, look, yeah, the dream may not remember that, but everybody else does. Thanks for your help with that. I'm going to need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Dream over. Yeah, let's, let's, let's bring back his, uh, his alter ego, Patrick. The dream may not remember Patrick, but we remember Patrick. Let's, let's show him. Let's give him a glimpse. It's Velveteen Trey! He's even got a fanny pack! We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads, and now hey, it appears Trey has followed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. Really? That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice I thought it was supposed to be the, I think Trey's gonna need to do a whole the tough enough attire. To rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? Okay. Years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. All right, well, fine. The time for psychological warfare is over. We'll Let's do find it. out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. Spotlight match. What is that all about? Here we go. Really? We're having a loading screen for this? We just get straight into the match. This no disqualification oh, here we go. spotlight match came about when Velveteen Dream felt Trey was quote stealing the spotlight from him when they oh, it's, it is tough enough, enough on the back because it's orange fair it enough in a that makes sense now no now I've seen it it makes sense the only way to win the match is by using oh big chop finishing move oh, that not no okay fair enough snap there athletes in sports entertainment and sure float over snap just fine under these conditions okay he just he was so shocked wait where's why can I not counter? What is happening right now? Interesting move here. Taking the match to the outside. They can just punch him in the chest. Oh, Get off me. Started. No, Velveteen. Get Somebody off me. There. This is a spotlight match, isn't it? Get over there. there Snap suplex oh, out on the nice. floor. Take it up. Take it up. Here we go. Get back in that ring. It back into the ring. Right, okay. Can I... Are you going to let you know, me... For somebody who hasn't been in the business all that long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion right, of okay. himself. Right, okay. It's not letting me do it, so fair enough. The roster. Oh, yeah. Burning DDT! Oh, no. What are you doing? I didn't tell you to do that. Oh, he's flipping me over. Elusive Whoa! He's Hello. He had to be oh, Velveteen, to back tonight. in control here. Let's roll out. Let's roll out if we can. Why don't you let me roll out? Let me roll out. What are you doing? Oh, don't give me the option earlier and then say I can't again. What is this? Velveteen Dream. 
Give me a reversal. Give me a reversal. Oh, flipping the script on him there. No, Never for Christ's sake. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch. Here. All right, Saxon, get up now. Get up now. He's got no chill. Velveteen has no chill. I'm not looking at his ass like that. Get that out of my face. The superstar he detests the most are those who first made a name for themselves on the independence. Boom. Right, objective completed. Form a corner grapple while Velveteen Dream is in the corner. Get in the. Okay, I'll get in the ring then. Fine. God's We're sake. seeing two outstanding athletes looking what to prove their dominance you? in there, but only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? No, no. Rainmaker DDT. Right, okay. Get up then. Get up, get up, Saxon. Get up, Saxon. You are watching NXT as the WWE searches for its next breakout superstar. Mm. What are you doing? Big what are you doing? He's looking a little weary now. Extreme rules matches are brutal and it's catching up with him. This is an extreme Rainmaker. rules match? Nobody told me that. Not looking good, guys. Form a corner grapple. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Okay. Yeah, boot right in the jaw. Did that not count? In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. What is happening? Um, that was a corner grapple. I mean, I, I like the backbreakers, but why aren't? Why didn't? Why didn't that work? Can we try that again, please? Get in the corner. Corner grapple. No, he's got him where he wants him. What are you Here doing? Uh, oh, nasty oh, okay guy. then. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Why aren't you working? Ser so much seriously. On this one. And like they say, on seriously. Anything can happen here in WWE. This match is brutality starting to show. What up. is happening? Yeah, right, okay, we're gonna have to restart it because it's not rich in the fact that I'm doing got grapples in the corner. This notice qualification spotlight match came about when Velveteen Dream Right, it's no disqualification, is it? Stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes tag classic. It puts both men in a unique situation. There are no pinfalls. Now, for Christ's sake. Submissions. The only way to win the match is by using your opponent's finishing move. Velveteen Dream might be I was busy, Velveteen. Gifted athletes in sports entertainment. I'm sure he'll handle himself just fine under these conditions. That's not for you. Oh, striking blow. He just cannot be caught. Oh, oh belly to belly, to belly suplex. To belly. Nice. Okay, right. Now. That is a great reversal. Oh, okay, so cover. don't use those. Don't use a sledgehammer that because they're way too slow. Guys okay, I've still got counters here, guys. Let me let me use my counters. Pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Now, don't worry, you just sound like an amateur. Oh, come on. Why is the game starting to be like this? You've been absolutely fine for ages, and now you started taking the mick. This match is insane. Right, let me roll out then. Okay, where's my rollout? Come on, man. Rolling speed, spinning heel kick. Right, get. What are you doing? Let me roll out. Let me roll out then. No, okay, don't let me roll out. Oh, okay, this is getting painful, man. This is getting painful. Big knee. Seriously. Don't do it to me. Bam, what a slap. Uh -uh. Witness the experience, fellas. We'll see how long what we is that? this attack. What is that? Right, get up. I agree with Byron's statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else? Right, get off me. Shirts and jeweled outfits. Hmm, why else? Okay, right. So you anyway, you get you down to your health. Let me tell you, Velveteen Dream can do pretty much anything. Okay, is he down? He's down to your health. Right, get up. Corner grapple. I don't think he wants to be in that. Right, it worked that time. I'm guessing it's because I got into yellow health when he was outside of the ring. That's a stupid glitch. That is a stupid glitch. Where is he going? Oh no. Oh, he's got the handcuffs. 
Not again. It That's appears no we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. And guys, keep in mind, this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, My finisher is a the spotlight, massive forearm slash elbow smash. You can't do that to me if I'm on the floor. Wait what are you minute, doing? What's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He Trey had a key. Okay. Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Hit him with the chair. Hit him with the chair. Thought I'd see that happen. Oh! Hit him again. Hit him again. In this match, Trey has now gained Yeah. Hit him again. One more time. Dream just. Oh, you beat me to the punch there, did you, Velveteen? Did you, Velveteen? I don't think so. Superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Oh, and he lands it, really relying on that tonight. Oh, you are not no taking this. You can pick chair. up that chair like again. Twisted. We're not doing this. You he wanted to handcuff me there. to a Things set of ro ring ropes. Right it's, it's not happening, man. You are you are Great tasting. Oh God, oh, you you were tasting this deal. And now. And you will continue to taste the steel. German suplex. From a standing strike. While he's near the barricade. Okay. Let's get you out of the ring. Let's get you out of the ring. Get out of my ring. To the right of the ring. Okay. Right. Go over. No. Not me. Well, yes. Me over there. But you have to be over there as well. Yeah. Where are you going? Another amazing Where are you going? Contest. These two never cease to entertain. Oh, you're going WWE to get universe. something, are you? Okay, I can do that too. Oh, you've gone for ladders. That's an interesting one. Okay, you know, I'm going to go for the kendo stick. Absolutely get over here. They've got. Come on. I'm over here. You, what are you going to do? You gonna throw you're just going to stand there? Are you being serious right now? <sighs> you. And he's heading back in. Get there was a lot of force behind that one. Get over Turning there. The to his favor. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. Stop it. Shoulder oh, over it. and okay. over in the corner. Complete dominance. Right, I I come on. I have reversals. That's that's fantastic. I don't care. The lack of rules has exposed him to some real punishment. Right. No selling your Dream Valley driver. Get. What are you doing? I'm trying to reverse you. Stop. I'm trying to get you to Irish Rip. Get out of the damn ring. Velveteen, do as you're told. Get up. Get hit. And now Trey and Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside. Oof. You can hear the thuds. I like it. I like it. Oh. That guy's getting a good view. Not that guy. Trey doing with that fanny pack? And Trey oh. nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's your answer. Real honorable, Trey. Now you set your you put a freaking brick in there. So that was perfectly legal. Oh, my God. That's, that's technically attempted murder. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Missile drop kick finds its mark. And you can see that Dream is looking overwhelmed. He'll think Get twice up, ref. before entering another Get up, ref. rules match. It's almost bent. Look at this. What are you doing? It's not what I said. Why aren't you letting me perform the Purple Rainmaker? 
Oh, don't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. What's the, uh, where is it? There must be. Come on. No. No. Please don't. Don't. Don't, don't say that. Where is it? Move thief. I don't have move thief. Are you freaking kidding me? How the hell are you supposed to perform it if you don't have the payback? I don't have move thief. Is it possible for me to still use it? Is it possible? I think we're about to see a high risk move from the top rope. No, it's oh not. It's This is the most God. stupid thing. This is so stupid. Totally miscalculated the situation. This is so there's no point even continuing with the match. I need to have <laughs> I need to have Move Thief in order to use it. I can't perform the Purple Rainmaker to win the match. This is so freaking stupid. You'd have thought it would have given it to you when you when you do the match. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I, I need Move Thief. I might... Where are we? Uh, where is Move Thief? Please tell me that I'm next to it, because if not, I am... It's all the way up there. Don't. Don't. Don't even. You have got to be kidding me. You have actually got to be kidding me. You... No. No. I have any attribute points. How am I supposed to know that I need to save them up? You had to back out and equip his finisher in the move set. That's how you got around this. No, Joseph. If that's true, Joseph, I, I'm gonna have to try it. I don't have an option. That is trash. You should be given the payback for this. What is what is this? That is trash. That is so bad that I actually have to go in and change the freaking moveset of a character because they don't assign you the payback in my career. Absolute trash. I am so pissed off. That is disgusting. I've got to spend 10 grand just to get... <sighs> I don't think it'll accept Purple Rainmaker 2, will it? It'll only accept the first <sighs> It's such a stupid mechanic that just needs to be put in. Why would you do... Why would you not give somebody a payback? Ah. Oh. 
Oh, I'd spend 10 grand on that. Jesus Christ. What? It's a good job you're, you're here, Joseph. It's a good job you're here because if I if you weren't, I wouldn't have known to do that. I'd have just been super pissed and just started playing loads of other random modes to try and get up the points for it. That is absolute trash. I cannot believe that. Everything about this my career mode was was great up until that point, and now one thing really upset me. That is just super annoying. This no disqualification spotlight match came about when Velveteen Dream Girl Trey was Disgusting. quote stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Classic. It put both Sit men in a down. situation. There are no pinfalls or submissions. The only way to win the match is by using your opponent's finishing move. Okay, straight, Velveteen straight. Dream might Come be on. unconventional, but he's also Give one of the most stick. gifted athletes in sports entertainment. I'm sure no. he'll handle himself just How dare you reverse that on me. Wow, what a sequence. Get well, off. Scouted reversal there. Back in the ring again. Nope. There it is. Sit down. Did you hear that crack? Light and fast reflexes. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. He's We're, we are not taking any prisoners now. No need to panic. He's still no, what are you doing? How did you do that? I didn't even do anything to you. Don't. Don't. You know, for somebody who hasn't been in the business Get all off that me. Long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest right. of the roster. Get up. Dangerous in the situation corner. here, guys. Downright treacherous. Don't do this. Oh, suplex. Best just be because you were facing the wrong way. Oh, now you get in it. Velveteen dream with the reverse. You did it without the payback of the move. I don't know why it wasn't working for me then. Where's I had enough stamina. Going? Oh no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. And guys, keep in mind this match is no Get on with it. So this is perfectly legal. We know it what happens. Legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. It's quite a long cutscene when you've seen it once. He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. I never thought I'd see that happen. Hit him again. And again. And again. And again. Huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. No, pick it back up again. To Michael's point about Velveteen Dream's disdain for the locker Actually, room. Let's um let's pick up the kendo stick. The, the, most the kendo stick is just OP in this game. Super fast. On the independent <laughs> Does a lot of damage. He's getting beaten up out there, but it's pretty hard to count. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. He is at red health. You don't see that red health? To the outside he goes. Get in. Trying Get in the ring. Separation here, right. What are you doing? I'm not dragging you. Oh, he, I dragged him to the middle so he could counter as something that I didn't even do. Great cool. one -on action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Single leg drop seen kick. In the past, extreme rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe. Even more difficult to contain. What are you doing? Just, just get out. 
They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. It's exactly where we're meant to be. And now Trey and Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside. What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? Hit him with the brick. And Trey nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's on nice. the call. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's your answer. Real honorable, Trey. Now you said it yourself. This match is no disqualifications. No disqualifications. So bricks legal. are fine. I mean, attempted murder, but bricks are fine. Back Get to the, the ring. Floor. He's going for it all. Hey, what are you doing? This has been dropped. He's certainly looking in command at the moment. He's flipped the switch, that's for sure. He's looking to do more damage from the ropes here. This is the slowest climb to the top rope I think I've ever seen in my life. Who does this methodical pace benefit? Come on. This drop kick finds its mark. Right. Give me that. Give me that stamina. Give me that stamina. This is going to be big, one way or the other. Are you kidding me right now? Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them no. entertained tonight. Are you kidding me? Are you actually there kidding me right now? Did you hear that crap? Are you kidding me right now? Wicked body shot. Ooh, oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh, right Sit elbow. down. Right, this should be it. This should be it. This should be it. This should be it. His opponent from the top turnbuckle. He's in trouble. He's trying again. No, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so He's not pissed looking off. so hot here, guys. And momentum is certainly not on his side right now. Here we go, start the count. Any more punches and Saxon's is going to have to take his shoes off the count. Oh, man. Take it. All right, let's get that momentum up. To the midsection, double underhook. Double underhook. Lung blower. The old butterfly. Lung blower. Good luck breathing after that. Get back in the ring, Velveteen. Get back in the ring. You're doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Dream just no. got out of the way. Don't you dare. And again, yet another counter. Okay. Okay, just need some stamina. Just need some stamina. Oh, we'll wait, we'll wait. He's gonna get up anyway. Give me that stamina. Stand up, Velveteen. Stand up, Velveteen. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. He's on the ropes again. Okay, let's let's not mess around now. Hit him with it. He's looking for yet another. No, not again! What are you doing? Oh, what is even so happening good. right now? There it is. Seriously. Crack? Ooh, what impact. He's been quickly taking control here. Yeah, no question. He's showing great energy. Stop freaking usual. countering it. This match he should have been over ages ago. Oh, and he lands it. Really relying on that tonight. I'm really relying on it. Reversing everything. Being trash. Stop being trash. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Boom, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Harsh impact. Really just right. laying it in. Get up. Dream just barely got out of the way. Right. Oh, I need stamina. Oh, for the love of God. Again. 
Hey, it seems to be working for him. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. Where are you going? <sighs> ah. Don't do it to me. Get in the ring. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Right. Oh, this is dangerous right here. He's going back to the well. Thank a you. Months ago, Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast, <sighs> desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen, that was Green, so painful. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Thank you, Josh. Joseph. It's began with a J. I apologize. Thank you, Joseph. Maybe Velveteen's dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. What is happening? That was certainly bizarre, okay. but nonetheless a huge win for Trey tonight. A win's a win. Does that mean that I unlock a fanny pack for my attire now? Is, is that what that's for? Finally. Finally we can move on with our lives. <laughs> so painful. Oh, it didn't need to be like that. It really didn't. Oh, here we go. Here comes your NXT Women's Champion, Red. I freaking love this. I freaking love it. Where is she? There she is. is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the champion. She is the NXT Women's Champion, Evelyn Hart. This wow, is that camera is, title is way off. Here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent Where memory. is she? Somebody fire these cameramen. That is shocking. Somebody fire the cameraman. Somebody fire them right now. Corey, where is she? Like a lot of the people I've seen on social media today are ready to write the champion off here tonight. What well, is this? Popular opinion is certainly going against the champion for some reason tonight. But no, I'm not ready to say that this is the night she loses the gold. In fact, I expect what to is happening? Oh, for the love of God, seriously. Fire your camera crew, NXT. You can't even just look at your champion. Oh, I love Candace. This is going to be fun. You have a damn championship as well. What's wrong with you? And introducing the challenger from Anaheim, California, Candace LeRae. Candice LeRae is Candace an absolutely fantastic Baker's performer. I've seen her live at my local promotion in Riptide Wrestling, but honestly, oh it, I don't know what's wrong. It doesn't look like Candice LeRae in real life. It doesn't. It, they haven't captured her like this very well at all. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on, but it seems really strange. And uh, the bike entrance is Undertaker's bike entrance. It was available for me to use. Don't ask me why. It was there. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not, but it was there. NXT, 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 NXT. Wait, what? Where's the announcements? There's no announcements? There's no spotlights? You kidding me right now? What happens to the NXT announcements? 
Will they announce the challenger of the champion? Why did he just so smack her in the here. face with the belt? In what is happening? Is Everybody's standing in anticipation. In the Look at them all. They're all sat down. This commentary Rose couldn't be more wrong. She's already successfully defended her championship it's on a 15 minute Iron Man match. But never in a match like this. Putting your title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be extremely taxing to say the least. Kind of like having to do okay. with you, Saxton. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into Here this Here we go. Manipulating that arm, putting it down, and then stomping Ooh, on the, the elbow impact. joint. That is going to be very painful for Candice LeRae. The champion is in serious jeopardy here. Oh, here we go. I think I've ever seen a more determined challenger. Step oh, up in Zaguri. Oh, we get some oh, yeah. forearm smash. Oh, no, another one. Like Moving out of the way. Rolling the forearm smash. Nobody competes in a match of this nature without paying some sort of a price call. Candice LeRae now this under. Oh, she's getting and stomped she's on the chest and face. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt. No! What a counter there by Candice LeRae. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, step up in right, let's roll. Roll out, roll out. Yeah, don't fall into the crowd, though. Don't fall into the ring. Revolutionary of the women's wrestling scene. Nice. Is known for not being Good intimidated work. by opponents of any shape or size. She's even taken on the likes of Kevin Owens and Cesaro. Okay, here we go. Right, back down, manipulating that elbow joint. We don't want to get any upper hand at all here. Massive forearm smash. As that was just pure earlier, fight. Has found and again. Matches during her career. All were examples of Candace's fearless persona. That's we do this. Life and limb for the win. Candace was getting matched. We just get straight up knocked out. Getting at the time, the competition forced her to step up her game, and now we're seeing the oh. fruits of her labor. The challenge Count is looking good right now. She needs to turn the tide here. No. Candace Lerae with a beautiful counter. Oh. Count. Goes, count it. Damn it, referee. I took you all the way to nine. You couldn't count to ten. What is wrong with you? You absolute loser. Get out of here. Punch. Jarring. Up to the top right. All the way from the top rope. Oh, double stomp to the chest. Fall away from the top rope to the outside. Nice. Oh, I'll just count it again. Oh no. There we go. That's how we do it. Snap suplex on the outside. What are you doing? Don't lag. Right, we're up to six. Right, should we give her one more? We'll give her one more. We'll give her one more. Will you count, ref? Presence, the challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. Right. Count it, ref. Counts ten. Counts ten. Everyone knows that when the championship okay, so that's is one state, for me. These ladies are going to pull out all the stops. This should be a great <laughs> I think it just did something really bad. Nice. Let's take this up. We do this. Float over suplex. Yes. Nice. Nicely done. That's not what I wanted. I wanted you to get up to the top rope. Why are you stuttering? Oh, you... Did that hit? The pressure on now. Yeah, she's Did able to tap hit? into an energy source few others can. Okay, DDT into the kick up. Should just go for a cover. One, two. Okay, she kicked out. To continue. She's not done yet, All right, fair enough. She kicked out. Still in all sorts of trouble here. Oh. 
snap suplex. One. A one count. Are you kidding me? A one count. Oh no. Candice LeRae with a beautiful count. Not again. One of these competitors oh, eventually gonna zigzag. Gain the upper hand. Get that count. Get it. Get the count. Count it, ref. Count it. One. Two. That was the slowest count in history. How dare you? Get up. Get going. Oh, count it. <laughs> what was that? DDT into the kip up again. That was hilarious. Hooked him up. Nice. Right, let's, let's go for a couple of allies. Come on, count it. One, two. You didn't do it again. Right then. Hit the poison runner. Poison runner. How many times do I have to correct you, Cole? Cover it. Count it. One, two, three. It's Key. It's up. Are we doing this? Are we doing this? We are. We're doing this. Come on then. I'm gonna hit you with that. No! No, 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 no. Not you. It was my finish. It was the Impaler DDT. No, not the Lion Soul. Oh, for God's sake. This was not over yet. <laughs> not even a one count. You suck. Hey. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, what a cross face. She better do something fast. Get out of that. That's not happening. That's not happening, Candice. How much damage was done? Should we do it? We'll do a comeback. It's fine. Get up. There we go. Nice. That was nice and easy. Oh, super kick to the face. Poison runner, poison runner, poison runner! Shut up, Cole. Oh, and another one. Get up. Get that inverted DDT. Inverted DDT. Inverted DDT. Impaler DDT. Counter ref. One, two, three. Four nil. Get off me. Yeah, we do need the old submission breaking point system. I did use to like that system. Snap suplex with the cover. Float over. Okay, let's just wait till we get some stamina back now. Let's just wait. We'll wait till we get some stamina back. I see it's pretty clear that we're going to win right now. We've got another six minutes to kind of just waste. Belly to back. Suplex. I think we can get this double stomp. Here we go. Oh no, she moved. Oh no, she's counting again. It's a counter of her own. Oh, head scissors take down. Bring her back to her feet. She missed out on that comeback. Did work for her. Hammer lock, backdrop. The challenger being outclassed here. It's gonna be a minor miracle if she turns it around. Yay! <sighs> what did you? What? What just happened? That's not a surfboard, and that's just an all vertical suplex. And why did she just kind of sit down at her feet? She returns the favor there. Sit down. Do you think we can get her in a Poison Rana again? I kind of want to. Yes, it is. Poison Rana. 
Poison Rana Cole. Learn. Count it. One. Two. Excuse me. Excuse me. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Oh, look out. Look at the oh. Get that. Get that cover. Get that cover. County ref. Thank you very much. Hey. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. Get off me. We'll do it again. The champ to the top turnbuckle. From the top. The hell was that? Whoa. Oh. Tilt a whirls head scissors. Jesus. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Head scissors oh, take down again. Look All right, let's go for the stomp again. On the way. Look out! Stomp. Get for that cover again, ref. Count it. Count it now. One, two. She's still in it. I knew she could do it. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. Poison runner again. Don't say it, Cole. You said it, Cole. Shut up, Cole. One. One count. Are you kidding me right now? Are you actually kidding me? Get her up. Get that in. implant DDT. She's in purple. She's in purple. One. Two. And this was just so close to being over. Are you kidding me right now? Right across the face. She seemed to have gained the advantage here. Yeah, she's getting after it, showing great energy. What was that? Are you actually kidding me right now? To the midsection, sunset flip. You go. What are you doing? What are you taking? Oh no. Oh, crap. One, two, go on. Thank you. Maybe respond better next time, game. Oh, crap. Just wearing down the opponent. Battling to get the upper hand. Get off me. She's out. She escapes the hold. Just when it looks Get like off me. Watch out. What's going to happen now? Go on. Hit it. Power bomb. One, two, three. Nice. We're going to go for that Poison Runner again. Yeah, we're going to try and get another pin here. We're going to try and get another pin in here. Get the cover. Get the cover. Come on, Red. Lucky number seven. One. A one, a one count. Are you kidding me right now? Are you actually kidding me? We've got a minute. We've got a minute. Hit that Impaler. Get down. It's grey. One. Two. Three. Lucky number seven. She gets straight back up. Oh, yeah. Pin it, pin it, pin it. One. <laughs> Count. Come on. 39 seconds. DDT into the kip up. Go for the cover again. One. Ah. Oh. No. Be pinned. One. God damn it. Be pinned. Why won't you be pinned? Pin her again. One.
Oh, they counted each other. Pinner. Pinner. One. Oh. Yay. <laughs> oh. She was no selling finishes. What absolute trash that was. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. Shocking. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good. What is going yourself? on with those texts That's just going into her skin? For ages, ladies and no selling finishes. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, nice. He's got 14 skill points. That's good. 44 attribute points. That's what I like to see. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to spend, apparently. And belts. I oh, lots and belts. What else did I get? There's lots of belts there, isn't there? Belts, belts, boots and shoes. Belts, belts, belts. Uh, boots and shoes. Wrestling gear. Oh, lots of Velvet Dream stuff. Velveteen Dream from my career as well. Got a new one for him. And, yeah. Red's gone up levels as well. That is a lot. Attribute points 44. I like it. It's going well. It's going well. I like it. Oh, is that Samoa Joe? Why is Samoa Joe? Why have we got pictures of Samoa Joe? I'm guessing we've got the angle coming up now. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. So... I'm not really going to talk about my time in NXT. Overall, it was great, but I don't want to give Rhea Ripley the attention after what she did. She could have ended my career before it even started. I still think you should have changed your name to Red Eye after that. And think of the marketing opportunities for airlines and allergy medicine that would have come your way. You left a lot of money on the table. Can you focus on our speech instead of bringing up bad ideas from the past? Bad ideas? There's another tie-in you missed out on. Please come in and save me from my idiot best friend. Hey, soon to be Hall of Famers. It's my old tag partner. That didn't last very long, did it? Unfortunately, no. I just wanted to say that I am so excited and honored to induct you tonight. We wouldn't want anyone else to do it. I mean, Undertaker yep. would have been pretty cool. Or President Rock. He actually texted us today. Check it out. Can you please stop insulting Rhonda before she snaps your arm off? It's fine. Oh, now I can't find the text. Please tell me I didn't accidentally delete it. Rhonda's the perfect person to induct us. She and I had some intense battles when I first got into WWE. Especially that Money in the Bank match with the arm bar on top of the ladder. I am definitely going to mention that tonight. And I have to tell that story about Trey's first night on Raw. That was crazy. Do you think messages from the president self-destruct? Like, for security reasons? I don't know about that. Oh! I almost forgot. This was on your door. See you out there soon. What is it? It's a note from my parents. You haven't talked to them in years. No, my real parents. It says they're going to be at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Wow. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. Between never hearing from them again after they sent me that letter in high school and then all those times I left tickets for them and they didn't show, I, I'd given up hope. But now I'm finally going to meet my actual real parents. This is so cool. Are you sure it's not some kind of misunderstanding? It, it has to be them. Look, they signed it the same way they signed the letter I got in high school. This really isn't the best time, but maybe we should talk about this whole thing with your birth parents. No. You can't do this. What's there to talk about? They must have finally seen me on TV and tracked me down, which is all thanks to you. You're the one who encouraged my big debut on Raw, remember? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. It's a damn shame. That's like your third plate. Are you sure you don't have a tapeworm? It's just the food here at Raw is so much better than what I'm used to at NXT. Do you try these black beans? They really nailed the seasoning. I'm good. Don't want mm. a case of the bean cramps during my Money in the Bank qualifying match tonight against Ronda Rousey. Mm. You're lost. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are reasons other than the food that I'd like to join you here on Raw. It's been kind of weird in NXT by myself. Well, 
whenever you're done stuffing your face, it wouldn't hurt if you made the rounds mm. here and introduced yourself. Never know what could happen. You know what? That's a great idea. I'll do that right now. And by the time I'm done, dessert should be out. Sure. I'll clean up your plate. Hey, where are you going? That goes out to the arena. Where is he going? Oh no. Oh no, what is he going to do? Don't tell me, chat. What is he going to do? Finally, you all have a champion you can be proud of. And now that I've climbed this mountain, I plan on enjoying the view for a very, very long time. In fact, our GM, Randy Orton, might not like me saying this, but I'm the champ now, so who cares? The next decade of Monday Night Raw is going to be very monotonous because there will be no universal title changes. For the next 500 episodes, this is all you will see. Me in this ring holding this championship. I wouldn't mind seeing that on Raw, to be honest with you. Guys, are you seeing this? Unfortunately, yes. I'm not sure why Trey from NXT is here, but let's focus on our champion. Joe should definitely be Universal Champion. Expecting, but for those of you who find this upsetting, I'm sure there are other so-called championship matches you can watch where the titles will change hands frequently, but not mine. Okay, this guy's officially insane. Security, do your jobs. Are you kidding me? Uh, I saw him visiting backstage, but I guess he had other plans. Are you lost? You know this is an NXT, right? Let him in the ring. It's cool. Come on, Joe. You're giving him what he wants. This guy craves the spotlight. Oh, no. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? I think we'd all like to know. I got some really good advice from my friend Red. She's kind of new to Raw, but I'm sure you know who she is, right? Super talented. Bit of a temper sometimes, but you can relate. Anyway, she said I should go around and introduce myself, and I figured, why not start with the Universal Champion himself? So I'm Trey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm not sure this is going to end well for Trey. Do you think I'm some kind of joke? No, no, not at all. Shut your mouth before I break your arm. I didn't plan on competing tonight, but after your little interruption, I guess I'm going to have to start my decade of dominance one week early. I wasn't planning on competing tonight either. I actually just ate a ton of food at catering and my stomach's killing me. You mind if we postpone until next week? I'm afraid that is not an option. Okay, fine. But if I'm doing this, your, your title's on the line, right? <laughs> sure. I didn't get to properly introduce myself. I'm Samoa Joe. The man who's going to choke the life out of you. It's always good to meet somebody who's going to choke the life out of you. Universal Championship match. Shake hands with them before they I shake hands with your throat. A slaughter than a match. I'm afraid you're right, Corey. We've seen Trey do some great things in NXT, but I don't think he's ready for this kind of challenge, especially Just with no it. time to prepare. Yeah, well, it's too late now. This is happening. Please let I me use it. Wait. Please let me win. Please tell me there's an option for me to win, or is this just a whole cutscene where I just get my ass handed to me? Oh my god. Very long. Unfortunately, ah! No! Too quick to catch him there. Really? Yeah. It was. Samoa Joe locks in the coquina clutch. Mm. Told you it wasn't going to last very long. Wait a second. Trey Cowan. One. Two. One of the biggest upsets this isn't over in yet. WWE history. I guess I'm still right about it not lasting long, but this is unbelievable. All hell is broken loose on Raw. <laughs> NXT superstar who just won the Universal Championship. This is unprecedented. What? what next? Other than Trey running for his life, I have no idea. Why is Joe running like that? Joe doesn't run like that.
Oh my god. Okay, I freaking love that. I can forgive the whole Velveteen Dream thing because that was just brilliant. Wow. Okay. 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 Hey, wait! Can't slow down. Joe's gonna kill me. Shouldn't have eaten all that food. What the hell did you just do? I took your advice and it worked. I'm Universal Champion! I meant you should talk to someone like the GM to try and get a call up, not interrupt Samoa Joe. I, I mean, congrats, your crazy way of doing things worked yet again, but now what? I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm just enjoying the moment. Also, I might throw up. <sighs> also, you're my ride. Sorry. <sighs> if you find your friend before I do, you tell him, this is far from over. Brilliant. This is, yeah, okay. Love it. Absolutely love it. Wow. So many cutscenes. What is happening right now? Oh, it's red. She's come out. You can see the top of her head. Fantastic. Camera crew really sucks with this entrance. Listen to this crowd, guys. They're fired up for this one, as well as they should be. This match <laughs> Still has love it. classic <laughs> written all over it. Uh, seriously, you can't see it. Where is she? Somebody needs to fire this camera crew for this entrance. I'm going to have to change it back because this is just trash. I can't even see what she's doing. Oh, there she is. There's the top of red. Just, just the top of red, though. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And I would say this match will have a big impact on how the other women view these competitors moving forward. Without <laughs> a doubt, and given how heated the women's division is right now, oh, even a the camera's looking for somebody much, much taller. That is hilarious. Ay, ay, ay. Let's just get that. Come on. Oh, here she comes. Yeah, that's going to get me a copyright strike, probably. <laughs> and from Venice Beach, California, we know all about you, Ronda. On the planet, oh, imagine Hornswoggle. Yeah, that would just be trash. Unbelievable. The excitement level of the WWE. Okay, yeah, let's just get on with this. If we're going to fight, we're going to fight. Not that there are any easy matches in WWE, but this is a, certainly a tough one. It is a tough draw. Oh, step up in Zaguri. Okay, here we go. Let's start working her over. Some good forearm smashes. Oh, damn. Okay. Nice. DDT into the kip up. We'd be taking control of this. We're taking control. Okay, let's wait and get some stamina back because she is 100% a lot better at this. She's got a lot higher stats than us. Oh, jump, jump into the Hurricane Rana. Lovely. Okay, here we go. Snap. Suplex to the float over cover. One. Okay, just a one count. Not necessary. I just like to go for the cover. I like it to be a bit more realistic. I'd be terrible against somebody else. I used to be really good against other players. I used to play with my friends all the time, but now I play for my own entertainment, so I try to make the matches as entertaining as possible. For me, at least, anyway. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no,
Oh, this is going to be painful. DDT to the ring apron. Oh, that is not a nice place to get a DDT done to you. Back in from the floor. Okay. Back in control. Well, remaining in control, should I say. Athletes in the world. More so, she's one of the most famous stars in the world. And she got that way by beating people up and taking their arm. Here we go. Dropping her out of the ring. What's she going to do? Springboard drop kick. We go into the top. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? You getting up? You getting up? Adding to what Michael's. Can I do anything? Oh! oh cross body! It was so far away. It was so far away. Be able to counter beautifully. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's Whoa. budging. Whoa! Spin. Oh no! She counted it. Oh, I didn't need that. To the outside, which will start the referee's No. Oh, my God. I love that, though. I love that the uh, the CPU knows to go back in and back out when to break Monday that count. When comes to your town, do us a favor. Three. Make sure you show up to be a part of the longest-running weekly episodic television show in history. Oh, Sit down. Right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste time trying to get down to red health outside the ring because when I tried to get when I got somebody else down to red health outside the ring when I was supposed to do it inside, he glitched out and wouldn't let me do anything else. So let's not do that. High angle belly to back suplex. One more, one more, and that should take her to where we need to be. Boom. Okay, that's completed. Now what? Four makeup torn. Get up, get up, get up. Samoa Joe doing out here? Did you find your friend yet? Huh? Where is he? Answer me. I don't know where he went. This is not my problem. Here comes Ronda from behind. No, 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 no. Piper. Oh. One, two. That's, that's a fast count. Come on, man. Qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match, albeit under somewhat controversial circumstances controversial red should have stayed focused on her opponent that's on her well it appears ronda rousey is also somewhat frustrated shocking with how things went i expected down. better a wins a win and if trey hadn't run away like a coward this never would have happened maybe red needs to have a talk with her best friend Unbelievable. Could have qualified for that. <laughs> no way. Hey, there's like a hundred other benches in this mall. Go find one. Psst. Look. Seriously, I will not hesitate to punch you in the junk. Trey? Yeah, it's me, but keep it down. I'm indiscreto. I think you mean incognito? Whatever, I just don't want Samoa Joe to find me. I'm pretty sure he's not here. Good. But just in case, look off into the distance when you're talking to me. I tried calling you all week, but your phone went straight to voicemail. That's because I smashed it. I'm also wearing different deodorant to throw Samoa Joe off my trail. Can't be too cautious. And I don't know if you heard, but Joe ended up costing me my Money in the Bank qualifying match. You poked the bear and then ran away leaving me to deal with him. I'm sorry, and I'll make it up to you somehow, but don't get hot because I'm the Universal Champion. That's not what this is about. Are you sure you're not a tiny bit jealous I won a title in WWE before you when you're supposed to be the in-ring star? And I did it when I wasn't even an official member of the roster. I mean this in the nicest way, but you got lucky. I reversed a coquina clutch into a pin. That's not luck. I'm the one who taught you that when we were training in Calgary. Fine. Then I guess this is yours. Take it. Stop. One of the reasons I was trying to get a hold of you is Randy Orton wants to give you a short-term Raw contract. So congrats, you got what you wanted, at least as long as you're champion. Yes! I mean, yes! Don't get too excited. Orton also wanted me to let you know you're defending your title on Monday. Hmm. Let me guess, against Samoa Joe? No. He's mad at Joe for letting this turn into the single worst thing to ever happen in WWE. His words. So instead... You're going to face Brock Lesnar. Cool. You sure you don't want this? 
Sorry, you got yourself into this. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I don't want to face Brock Lesnar. Uh... The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And is for the WWE Universal Championship. I am going to die. There I am with my amazing Universal Championship, exactly how it should be. Looking very fine. Not not about to get my ass handed to me in any way, shape or form. Looking very strong, confident. I'm let's not forget the title is on the line here tonight. Let's just let's just skip it, because this is just gonna be painful, isn't it? Here he comes. The longest reigning Universal Champion oh, in man. history. He's got freaking Heyman with him as well. He needs Pyro. 100 percent That's all that's missing from this game is the Pyro. Every single time, it's the Pyro. Kansas City. You let me pick where he was from. He's from London, England. Why do you do this? Why do you say Kansas City? He didn't. He wasn't even from there. This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting. With why the referee wasn't facing the hard cam for that? I don't know why. Leaving. Between interrupting and defeating Samoa Joe, then essentially going into hiding before being awarded a temporary Raw contract, it's certainly been a roller coaster of a week Boom. for our Universal Champion. Take track. that, Brock. Yeah, <laughs> gotta get smart with this. Gotta get smart with it. Gotta get smart. Get, so get, smart. So get in the ring. In a non match for the first time in years. Doesn't take a genius to predict. Let's work this out. Leg oh, sweep. There we go. Russian leg sweep. Very nice. Very nice. No one thought he'd be in this position tonight, but he somehow pulled that off. Oh, yeah, double axe handle from the middle rope. Let's pick him up now. Work him over. This is Lesnar we're talking about here. Another Russian leg sweep. Nicely done. He's just okay. dominating at this point. Here we go. Firmly in control. Rolling. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, Christ. Right to the spine. Evading possible disaster there. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Okay, Russian leg sweep again. Apparently, I can't do a thing. He must be really heavy, and my character can't pick him up because nothing is working. Oh God. I don't think so, Lesnar. I don't think so. I get to do what I want to do now. Now in full control. Let's do it. Yes. For running strike on him. Oh God, no! I like it. No. Oh. Oh. 
the, the bell just rang. I, I think the referee disqualified Trey for Samoa Joe attacking Brock. Well, of course Trey he did. Still retains the Universal Championship. That's my Universal title, and I'm going to take it back. Not anyone else. So, Randy Orton, until you give me my rematch, get used to this happening over and over again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean Brock wouldn't really care. To be fair, if if this was real, he would have he would have went and won that championship match, and then he would have probably just gone after Samoa Joe. He wouldn't have cared. Not about Heyman. Would have just gone with it. Wouldn't have cared. Right then, finally, I can actually stop right now. GM Randy Orton, what is that about? This has obviously been a great stream. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, we're going to stop and leave it here for tonight. It's been absolutely amazing having every single one of you here. Very happy with the way that this stream has gone. Um, my career is picking up. And apart from a few issues, which were you know, rectified, thank you for the people who did tell me how to get past that Velveteen Dream section, um... It really, really helped. So, it's been great. Honestly, fantastic. Really happy with this career mode right now. A lot of people are saying it's a bit cheesy and they don't really like it and it's not for them. I'm enjoying it. And I, th I think at the end of the day, it, I c if I can enjoy it and it doesn't, you know, it's not going to be for everyone. But I mean, quite frankly, like I said, if you can enjoy something like this, then that's a massive step in the right direction for me, personally. Um... If it was somewhere in between uh, kayfabe and real life, where you were kind of playing somebody who was backstage being a WWE superstar and then being told by the GM, okay, you're going up there and tonight you're going to lose. Or tonight you're going to win. And you kind of play through like that as an actual superstar. And I think that'd be interesting. But, you know, you need these kind of crazy things in the career mode. So I'm actually quite interested. In any case... In any case, um, thank you once again for tuning in. It's been absolutely awesome. And I will catch you guys, every single one of you, in the next stream. Have fun.